Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a shape file to a GeoJSON text file in QGIS. It's very simple. I'm going to come up here to my Add Vector Layer button. I'm going to make sure my source type is on File. I'll go to Browse. Browse to the directory where my shape file is. And it's a shape file, so there will be several with the same name and different extensions. But I'm going to pick the one with the SHP extension. And then I'll just click Open and open again and there's my shape file and if I want to add something I can do that easily enough I can just add another polygon in here and I right click to end it I'll give it a name let's just call it airport and then once I'm done with my edits I just come here and save layer edits and toggle out of editing mode and then I can come down to my layers right click on the layer that I want go down to save as and I'm going to change the format from a shapefile to GeoJSON I'll navigate to whatever directory I want to save it in and give it a file name in this case it's just going to be study underscore areas and I'll hit save and in this case we're already in WGS84 but you can choose whatever coordinate system you want here. If the shapefile wasn't in WGS84, you probably want to choose that because chances are if you're saving it as GeoJSON, you're going to put it on a web map and you'll want it to be in WGS84 in that case. And then I always come down here and I always change this coordinate precision to 5. And the reason is if you leave it at 15, it'll give you 15 decimal places for both the longitude and latitude for every vertice on every polygon. And really five decimal places will get you to within four feet on the center of the Earth and that's generally plenty accurate. If you're really working with high accuracy data you might want to go to six but there's really no reason ever to go more than six or seven decimal places. Fifteen is really excessive and that data is going to be sent over the web so it's just extra space and extra bandwidth and it's unnecessary. So I would say always change it to five and then I just click OK and there we have it and if I go to my htdocs directory where I saved it I can come down here here's my original shape file and then I have this study area geojson file and that's all there is to it so thanks for listening and good luck with your project